Hello everyone and welcome to this Moodle tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn how to add and set up the glossary activity in Moodle. From your course page, click the Actions or the Settings menu and click Turn Editing On. Select the section where you'd like to put the glossary activity. Add an activity or resource. Then, the window will be displayed. Under Activities, select the Glossary. The Glossary can be used as a collaborative bank of key terms, a getting-to-know-you space where new students add their name and personal details, a handy tips resource of best practice in a practical subject, a sharing area of useful videos, images, or sound files, and a revision resource of facts to remember. Click the Add button. And now, the Glossary Settings page will be displayed. You may click on the Expand All so that all the settings section will expand as you browse the page. On the name, supply the name of the glossary. For example, General Key Terms. Supply the description. And then, you may just select the default glossary type, which is the secondary glossary. For entries section, approved by default, yes, allow, always allow editing, no. Duplicate entries allowed. No. Allow comments on entries. No. Automatically link glossary entries. But all the settings depends on your preference as it also depends on the purpose of the glossary. On the appearance section, display format, you may just select the default which is simple dictionary style, but you can always select from other options. In my case, I will select full with author. Approval display format, I will select full with author as well. Entries shown per page, by default it's 10. You can either increase or decrease the number of entries shown per page. Show alphabet links, yes. Show all link, yes. Show special link, yes. Allow print preview, yes. Grade category is uncategorized. And then the ratings, you can actually set up or set up or choose an aggregate type. It can be average of ratings count of ratings, maximum rating, and other options. So this allows the glossary to be graded. So in my case, my glossary is just for the general key terms and I will not apply a grading for this glossary. For the common module settings, just select what is default on availability and then you can skip the ID number. You can also restrict the access of the glossary if, for example, there should be a completed activity before accessing this glossary. Then for the activity completion, you may select from these three options. So I will select show activity as complete when conditions are met. And then I'll just set up set the default which is the require view is checked and the require entries checked and after that i have no more settings to do just click save and return to course and now i have the glossary for general key terms to add an entry click on the glossary and then click the add a new entry. For example, on concept, 
I will put Moodle and then the definition of Moodle here on the definition section. You may also include or upload an image about the part this particular concept. So for example, I will add an image here. So I'll click on the insert or edit image. And then I'll click on browse repositories. And then I'll look at the Wikimedia repository and look for a Moodle. I'll just put the logo of Moodle and then select this page. I can click the description not necessary or I can put here the description of the image. Also, I can adjust the dimension. For example, I wanted to make it more smaller. So I'll just resize it and then the, while the auto size is checked it allows a proportion on the on the dimension that you will set in here and then click save image and now I have this image so let me just rearrange All right. On the keywords, you can set a keyword here. If there are many keywords, each keyword should be on a new line and not separated by a comma. For example, model, and then another is LMS or VLE, so that when a user search for these particular keywords, this definition and concept will be displayed on their search or filter. And then you may click Save Changes button. And now I have the concept added on the glossary. So that's all for the glossary tutorial. Thank you very much for listening.